Hello, Arlen and Hazel. Here we are at the Museum of the Rockies. A museum is where they collect, store, lots of things that people have done and found and learned about so that we can learn about them. Those things are also called artifacts. What do you think we'll find in this museum? Let's go find out. So when you go to a museum, they usually have you give, pay a little bit of money so that they can operate the museum and keep it nice and collect more things. Sometimes they have a gift shop where you can purchase little things like stuffed animals. And that's what the money goes for, is to help them preserve all those artifacts that we've learned about. Here in this museum, they have a planetarium where you can learn about space and all the different things we've discovered by looking into the night sky, and taking pictures of it, and figuring out where we fit in the big, big openness of space. Look at this sign. That's pretty cool. Here are some rocks that they've found that have come from space. They're called meteorites. Maybe you can find some of those that have fallen from the sky. Here we have stepped into the dinosaur exhibit where they've found fossils and different things like big giant enormous bones and they teach us about what time of those things came from. You might find some fossils on a hike or something. We'll have to see what's in here. Ooh, we're going back in time. Back, back, back when the big giant mountains like the Tetons were made. This is called a diorama. They're displaying what it might have looked like millions of years ago when there was very different creatures alive. Oh boy, dinosaur exhibit. Let's go see what they have. I think maybe we should start here by going up to the Mesozoic Overlook. Look, they've made models of what some of those dinosaurs and ancient creatures might have looked like. Ooh, those ones are running through the jungle. Oh man, there's a ginormous bone over there. Ooh, what's that? Let's go look at that. Here you go, Hazel. This is how you look for fossils. You might find some when you go hiking in the mountains. This is how they make a cast of something they found. So that then they can take that cast and they can learn how to put it together so that we can see what the bone structure of an old dinosaur might have been like. Look at that. Here they're telling us what dinosaurs were and are. What dinosaurs do you think might still be on Earth that haven't gone extinct? Fossils. This is how they're made over thousands and millions of years. So we find the bones and we try and figure out how to put them together like a puzzle. And once we've put the bones that we found together, we have an idea of what shape those dinosaurs might be. And then, oh look at that, we can make a guess as to what they might have looked like. 
just by studying their bones. That's pretty cool. Here is an exhibit showing lots of different scientists, paleontologists, biologists, and all the ologists. And they're all wearing silly beards and mustaches to make fun of the fact that so many people think that all scientists are men and they're not. There's lots and lots of different people that become scientists and help us figure out where we came from and how we evolved. That's a lot of different people, isn't it? Oh, look at these ones. They've got some really funny mustaches. Ha! As you can see from the pictures of these folks, it takes a lot of hiking and discovering and exploring to find fossils and different types of rocks so that we can learn all the fun things that are in the world. Here we can see just how big a dinosaur might have gotten. That's pretty big. It's much, much taller than me. Here's another one over here. Look at that. What do you think he did with those giant, big horns? My goodness. See how some, they only had some of the bones, and the other ones, they could kind of infer, which is another word for guessing, what the other bones would look like. And they made plaster casts, so that then they put the whole puzzle piece together for us to see the bone structure of those dinosaurs. Here we get to see what the Triceratops and how it grew bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger as it got older and just kept munching on things. Jump, 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 jump. Look how big it got. Okay, Arlen. Arlen, these are some very old buggies which is what we used before we had cars. We would hitch horses with leather straps and long pieces of wood down here, and they would pull this cart. And people would ride up in these seats, and the driver would sit up here. That's what we drove around in before we had engines and cars, and then we started to figure out engines and we put them in cars like this one. And then we didn't need to have horses to pull us around. We sat in the car just like we do now. But you see how they look alike? See how it's an old wagon buggy there? And see how it looks a lot like this car. It has four wheels, has a seat up front for the driver. Here's a tiny buggy. This one looks like it's made for cold weather and windy conditions. What do you think this, what do you think this one was for? Oh my, it looks like it carried a lot of liquid of some sort. Look how high up the seat was. Sat way up on top of that giant barrel. Look at this big car. Do you think I could drive that car? It's pretty big. This is an old gas pump. And guess what? There is a plane hanging from the ceiling. Look at that. So you guys might see these a lot, especially where we live, because they're very popular for taking sheep into the mountains and then the people who tended the sheep, called the sheep herders, would live in this wagon, which was also an old style camper, just like our camper. See how they got all their stuff inside? And they would go camping with their sheep. And you might see one of these, or more, 
right around where we live. See, it's just like a camper, only a little bit different. It's got all their food and their little kitchen in there, a little bed with some books for reading. Looks like their little stove is right here. It's kind of hard to see with the reflection, but you get it. Here is a tiny, tiny cabin, tar paper shack. And you can see just what a tiny space some people would live in. Just like you guys are living in a small space now. Only this one is much smaller. Do you think you could live in there? Do you think it'd be warm in the winter? It might be with that big stove, huh? Look at this. Someone has made a bison sculpture out of old things they have found. What do you think you could make out of the things you find around that aren't being used anymore? Maybe you could make a horse. All right, well, that was the museum. What did you guys think? There was lots of fun things to do and explore in there. You'll have to go outside and see what you can find out in the woods. Maybe you'll find some fossils or some rocks that you can break open and see if there's anything inside. Maybe you can dig in the ground and see if you can find a bone.